I think that everything I write happens in a frontier that divides reality from fiction. And so uh, I always have these regular characters that get into a cinematograph, get, get inside a genre in a way. They, they are involved suddenly in something that's more cinematographic that, than real. My father used to, uh, he was a cinephile as well. Uh, I, I mean, as a child, he was very, very poor. My, my grandparents came from the, after the Second World War. And, and so they came without nothing to the country. And, and, and the first job that he got uh, was to work in, in to, inside a theater. And he used to carry the, the film guns to the booth. So oh, wow. then he, he, he began loving Tarzan. And then he saw everything. And, and so by the time I was born, he went to school, he, he made a good living. So uh, my, my house was full of cameras. He used to buy a lot of cameras and shoot his family. And after, most of it in Super 8 millimeters. And after, he used to put music, to add music from the films he loved to the family movies. <laughs> so I grew up watching myself riding a horse listening to Ennio Morricone's <laughs> soundtrack from The Good, The Bad, and The Other. And I truly saw myself as a hero on the screen. And, uh, and then my mother uh, walking on the beach with the music from Gone with the Wind. And, and so I felt this, this big love story between them. And everything was bigger than life in our family memories. And yes, and that's why I, I, I think I do that. But, but your talent for putting music against image. I mean, that it, that it, comes it, from my father, that's, absolutely. That's amazing. And he was a good cameraman as well. I mean, he used to use the zoom a lot, you know, like the palm, like <laughs> go to his face. And, and yes, yes, very pop. He was a pop artist, my father. <laughs>